today we're going to learn about scientific notation. But before I start this lesson, I have to say that it is very important to understand the relation between the displacement of the decimal point and the exponent of the power of 10. If you understand this, everything is going to be easy about the subject. Alright, let's cut to the chase. Let's take a look at this demonstration. I'm going to represent the number 1000 in four different ways. The number 1000 can be represented as 1.0 times 10 to the third power. Because 10 to the third power is equal to 1000 and 1000 times 1 1.0 is equal to 1000. Now I'm going to move the decimal point one place to the right. I can also represent the number 1000 as 10.0 times 10 to the second power because 10 to the second power is equal to 100 and 100 times 10 is equal to 1000 I'm gonna move again the decimal point to the right one place more now I can also represent represent the number 1000 as 100.0 times times 10 to the first power 10 to the first power is equal to 10 and 10 times 100 is equal to 1000 and finally I can also represent the number 1000 moving the decimal point to the right again I can represent as 1000 times 10 to the zero because 10 to the zero is equal to 1 and 1 times 1000 is equal to 1000 so we can conclude that as the decimal point moves to the right the exponent of the power of 10 decrease let's gonna see another situation now I'm gonna represent the number one in four different ways. The number one can be represented as 1.0 times 10 to the zero. Because 10 to the zero is equal to one, and one times 1 1.0 is equal to one. Now I'm going to move the decimal point to the left. So I can also represent the number 1 as 0 0.1 times 10 to the first power. Because 10 to the first power is equal to 10 and 10 times 0 0.1 is equal to 1. I'm gonna move again the decimal point to the left. Now I can also represent the number 1 as 0 0.01 times 10 to the second power 
because 10 to the second power is equal to 100 and 100 times 0 0.01 is equal to 1 and finally I can also represent the number 1 as 0 0.00 1 times 10 to the third power because 10 to the third power is equal to 1000 and 1000 times 0 0.001 is equal to 1 in this case we can also see that as the decimal point moves to the left, the exponent of the power of 10 increase. Alright? Now I can teach you scientific notation, and the scientific notation is used to express or represent numbers very large or small decimals. A number is in scientific notation when it is in this following format as you can see here number between 1 and 10 times a power of 10 let's see the first example we have here this number and uh, as you can see is a small decimal it is a small decimal I can represent it like this 0 0.0543 times 10 to the 0 power because 10 to the 0 is equal to 1 and 1 times this number is equal to itself but this number even though is multiplied by a power of 10 it is not in scientific notation because this number is less than 1 this number is not into this interval All right so in this case I, I'm gonna put in scientific notation but I need to move the decimal point to the right Let's gonna see. This number can be represented in scientific notation like this. In this case, I have to put the decimal point between 5 and 4, like this 5.5. Now, if uh, you have learned that when the decimal point moves to the right, the exponent of the power of 10 decreases. So in this case, if I if I've moved the decimal point one two places to the right, how to exponent? negative 2 in this case I I did starting from 0 negative 1 negative 2 negative 1 negative 2 because when the decimal point moves to the right the exponent decreases next example in this case we have here a number large a large number in this case I can also represent this number like this itself times 10 
to the zero power. But this number is not in scientific notation because this number here is out of this interval 1 and 10. So to put to put it in scientific notation, I have to move the decimal point and put it between 6 and 3, like this, 6.38 times 10, and that the exponent is going to be when the decimal point moves to the left, the exponent of the power of 10 increases, as you have learned before. In this case, it started from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the exponent is equal to 5. Now, this number is in scientific notation, a number between 1 and 10 times a power of 10. Next example. In this example, the number is multiplied by a power of 10, but this number is greater than 10. This, this number is not into this interval. So I'm going to put it in scientific notation. In this case, I have to move the decimal point one, two places to the left, like this. 5.38 times when the decimal point moves to the left the exponent increase it starts from starting from 4 we have here 5 6 now we have here a number in scientific notation and the last example, we can represent like this, but this number is not a scientific notation. And also, I have to put the decimal point between 5 and 3, like this, 5.36. Six, six, eight times starting from negative four. I have to move the decimal point to the left, and when I do it, the exponent of the power of ten increase. So we have here starting. From negative 4, we have here negative 3, negative 2. Remember that negative 2 is greater than negative 4. Alright? Okay, if you enjoyed, click on like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.